uh, yeah, so this is a Zenith, Zenith, yeah, what is this thing called again? <clears throat> there we have it, uh, uh, BT051B, a little 5-inch television, black and white, that I found at the Goodwill. Um, so, yeah, I think it's time to take it apart and see what kind of condition it is on the inside. So, I see two screws on the back of the case. One, two, three on the side of the case. Alrighty. I am absolutely not an expert at filming, so we'll see how this goes. I'd like to get better. Surprise, surprise, it actually has uh, a battery compartment. Man. Oh boy, I hope. Uh, <clears throat> these haven't leaked. The big old boys. Ah. Alright, wow. So one, two, three, four, five, and six. Thought I wasn't recording for a second. <laughs> All right, so let's take a look ah, right in there. See what we got on this label. Use Zenith Battery Pack S057 or 6D cell batteries. Oh, so there must have been a actual battery pack that they also sold for it. That's pretty cool. 
da, 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 da. make certain the spacer is inserted in back cover when using D size batteries. Oh, that must be this. Zoom you out there. This uh, spacer. Pretty nifty. This thing's from 1983. Uh, and Zenith, uh, I guess, was the founder's call radio call sign. Um, <clears throat> ZN9. So he became known as ZN9. And then when he started the company, that was turned into Zenith. That's, uh, I think that's what I read. Can't be bothered to double check that right now. All right, let's see here. Uh, and as, as always, if uh, you're gonna do this, make sure you kind of know what you're doing. Watch some safety videos. Don't treat my video as a safety video. High voltage, yada yada. One moment, please. Okay, it's not that bad. Not that complicated. That slides out, and there we have it. Ooh, what do we have there? Is that an audio jack? I think it is. I'm not sure if that's audio in or audio out. All right, well, let's see what we... Well, that audio jack is, they must have, I don't know, if they soldered it after the fact. Can I get that on, up on there? Yeah, I don't have that much wiggle room here. Um, but you can kind of see into the board. Uh, I was going to like discharge it, you know, take it all apart and stuff, but, um, you know, this thing's working really well at the moment, and I don't want to ruin it. I've got a RF modulator on the way, so we'll get to actually get an image displayed on it, but, uh, oh boy, I think I'll take you guys off your tripod and show you the back of the board. Going mobile. All right. So, move that back out of the way. Here it is. Um, definitely, definitely some gunk. Not the cleanest. So that is something to consider. I might have to, you know, try to clean this up. See what the condition of the capacitors is like on the other side. Um, but again, this thing's pretty, and I don't really want to take it apart right now. I've got, uh, oh, geez, I've got plenty of TVs already taken apart. So, yeah. I'll uh I'll let this guy live for a bit. <laughs> 